Today, Valhill Capital announced the launch of this new document, an XRP white paper, talking about all these different models about how to value an XRP token based on, well, a series of models. In this video, we're gonna go over one of the models and it's called the Backy's Pipeline model. This model was designed by Dr. Dion Backy, who has a PhD in evolutionary biology and ecology. How we've managed to get biologists in here to do price predictions, I have no idea, but we're here for it. Let's see what he has to say. So this pipeline model treats the XRP system and the XRP ledger system as a dynamic system, almost like XRP running through pipes. And it's designed to simulate the evolution of a financial system over time. So let's use an analogy for this. And I think it's pretty on the nose, but let's talk about this whole pipeline thing. In this model, the water going through the pipes represents the value moving through the system. The pipes are the payment rails for this system and the amount of pipes feeding into the system relates to how much XRP supply there is. But here's where it gets a little bit more interesting. The diameter of the pipe represents the price of an XRP token. And obviously the diameter is the hole out the other side of the pipe. That's from one side of the pole to the other. But much like all of the other models, this model makes some assumptions too. It assumes that there will be a big bang event. And this event drives foreign exchange value onto the XRP ledger very quickly. Interestingly, it also assumes that a large price increase early in the adoption curve leads to a sell-off. And all the other models I've talked about so far, at least filmed so far, they don't talk about accounting for a sell-off. And that sell-off obviously causes a decrease in the price in the short term. So let's look into the methodology behind this model. And so unlike the other models, and this is quickly becoming one of my favorite models here, it doesn't just focus on the transactional value of XRP or the store of value of XRP, but it tries to incorporate so much of these utility elements of XRP that it kind of, for me, adds credibility. So it addresses transaction volume. It addresses store of value. It addresses factors in supply and demand interaction. And it also assumes there'll be competitive interaction dynamics as well. Potentially talking about other companies that could come and give XRP a run for its money. And it looks at key ratios within these calculations too, including ratios like the total asset supply versus those transacted daily. And it also looks at the XRP circulating supply versus the XRP traded daily. I don't think many others have gone into this much detail or at least acknowledged lots of different things happening. And I guess this is why it talks about the pipeline being the rails and there's so many different avenues within this system. It's really nice visually and it really starts to make sense. The model also provides insights on how the ecosystem will change over time. And these all have relative importance to supply and demand. It also illustrates how price volatility is negative for financial institutions and how that volatility could happen in the first place. Super interesting. However, like other models, this one has some of its drawbacks and its limitations, so let's get into those. So this model isn't trying to predict time and it can't predict time duration, how long it will take to adopt. It doesn't go into any of that. It also understands that its supply and demand behavior calculations are all based on mathematics. And mathematics, of course, is an unemotional environment where it's just black and white. So should we do this? Should we get into all of the numbers that create this price prediction for XRP using the Becky's pipeline model. It basically says that this model uses the following data. The total global assets are valued at 5.5 quadrillion. The daily US dollar transaction volume is 6.6 .6 trillion, which is 0.132% of the total global assets. It also says the XRP circulating supply is 50.8 billion tokens. It's interesting to see how the circulating supply of XRP is so up for grabs and debatable. And all of these different models have different ideas of what is circulating currently. It also says 1.86 billion XRP are traded every day, making the total ratio of XRP traded daily 3.7%. And the total number of seconds within a day is 86,400. With all of these parameters, the pipeline flow model predicts that the price per XRP would be $3,541 under these very specific market conditions. Now, of course, that would be massively exciting. Interestingly, having looked at all of these models, this is one of the lowest price predictions for XRP, but 
I feel like it has the most credibility and realism. I know three and a half thousand dollars is a lot for an XRP token, especially for us to think about here. But I'd like to know what you think about the other price prediction models that I've gone over in this little series. So click one of these two videos to follow that train of thought. If you want to watch the playlist with all of the models being talked about, you can click the link in the description. Let me know what you think about this one. Stay emotionless and I'll see you in the next one.